Hi, this is a demonstration of the Topologist tool, which is an aid for um, drawing buildings in 3D. Um, so I'm going to start by um, start by drawing the plan of the building. So let's add a, a plane. Um, let's um, scale it up um, to um, a bit smaller than that. Um, that's about 24 meters across because the default plane is two meters. Um, just apply that scale because so I should have done that at the, um, in edit mode for the nodes so um, the basic tool for moving nodes around in, in blender is the grab tool which is G on the keyboard but the black grab tool works in 3d um, um, unless you click on the middle, middle mouse button or if you use the, um, the shift um, if you go to grab and you press shift Z then all the motion is within the XY plane so as you can see, I've, I've edited that plane um, and it's, but I haven't messed it up. So I'm gonna use the knife tool to, um, to turn this into a house plan or a building plan. So um, let's maybe draw a curve along here, say. Um, let's um, draw a room there. Um, and draw another room here, the funny shape rooms. Um, let's uh, let's draw a ring of rooms along here. So um, uh, there's another funny shaped room. Um, of course, I can edit these this layout lay, at any point. Okay, um, so let's go back to the grab mode. Oops. So let's pick some um, pick some nodes and, um, and try and tidy this up because it's a bit of a mess really. So um, so shift Z restrains the um, the motion like so. Shift Z, oops, grab shift Z. Um, that was a bit weird. Um, if I um, if I press G and then G again, then it then the motion is restrained to the to one of the existing lines. Um, so anyway, enough of that. So let's go into here. Let's delete some of these faces. Um, we'll also make this a courtyard house. So um, or a building. Um, so here's here's the basic plan. Now what I wanted to do is I want to extrude this and create some three D cells. Um, now if I'm now, if I use the, um, the default extrude tool, um, that's fine. It moves everything up and down. But if you notice um, on the inside, um, it hasn't um, drawn any walls. It's, but I need the walls, so I'm going um, to undo that. There's a um, so another tool. So extrude individual faces. That does what I want. It creates walls, but it doesn't. Um, doesn't leave the floors in place. So let's undo that. So I'm going to do a control C, control V. Oh yeah. Not even that, that's not even working. So um, shift D duplicates. Um, so I have to move that to, um, and it also moves it. So I'm going to reset the move and, and put it back where it was. And now I can um, extrude individual faces, um, move that up, um, yeah, minus 3.6, so it's 3.6 meter floor to floor. Um, so let's do that again. Um, um, let's make a credit multi-story building. So, um, so if I shift D again, duplicate those, um, reset the, mo the movement. Somebody will probably tell me there's a better way of doing this. face um, extrude individual faces um, let's make that a bit smaller make that 2.7 minus 2.7 um, uh, let's take it up another floor um, so shift D again uh, reset that uh, 
face, extrude individual faces. Um, um, of course, I don't have to. Um, this building doesn't have to be um, same the same floor plan on every level. So, um, so let's uh, make these two bits here a bit taller. So, um, so again, Shift D. Um, Face, um, extrude individual faces, make that one a bit taller, four meters high. Um, so here, here we're starting to have a building. Um, uh, you can mess around with it a bit. We can um, let's get rid of um, get rid of um, get rid of that. Take a chunk out of it there. Um, let's. Uh, Make one of these, uh, uh, say that, make that a double height space. So let's hide that face there. I can delete, um, delete some faces in here. Um, let's make it a triple height face. So, say so as you can see, there's now um, um, no floors in there. Um, so now this this model is um, um, is a bit of a mess um, because of the way I've been extruding faces and copying and pasting. There are lots and lots and lots of duplicate nodes. So. Um, so I have to select it and I have to clean up the mesh. Um, so I have to clean up and merge by distance. And that's merged 207 vertices. So hopefully now um, this is a model that I can use um, uh, to create the building. Um, there's a couple of things I need to do first. Um, if I, um, um, when I'm exporting it, I'm using DXF files, which um, which doesn't support these um, five-sided faces. So here, here's a five-sided face. Um, so I'm going to um, select by trait, um, face by sides. These are all four. So I'm going to hide all the four-sided faces, um, and I'm going to select the five-sided faces. And I'm going to triangulate them. Yeah. Okay. So um, Alt H and hide it. There's my model. So I uh, now the problem is that Blender 2.8 has um, there's it's kind of a broken DXF export. So I'm gonna I'm gonna Control C copy it, and I'm gonna switch to Blender 2.79. Get rid of that. Um, and Control V. Um, and then I'm gonna use um, Blender 2.79 because it has a less broken um, DXF export. So if I export DXF here, um, now the most important thing is I have to um, uh, change it from th the default is 3D faces, but we want a polyface mesh. Um, so let's export that. So I've created a, um, uh, a DXF file. So if we look at the folder here. Um, there's, there's quite a small DXF file. So I'm going to use the Herb Topologist script. Topologize, even. I should change the name. And I'm going to create a um, what's called a Molio file, which is a, uh, well, I'll open it up and you can see. So it's found 120 nodes, it's found 33 cells, it's found five stories. Um, um, now, if we look at this, um, Molio file. It's just a, a a big YAML file with a list of all the um, um, list of all the walls and the ceilings and um, so on. So now the next tool I'm going to use is um, called Molio, which is um, which will t convert that YAML file into an IFC file. Um, convert the Molio file into an IFC file. Didn't like that. Let's see what happens. Um, so if we go back to um, Blender here, let's hide the model. Let's um, import the IFC file. Um, there we go. Um, so there was an error there, but it didn't seem to have been too much of a problem. Um, so here's this building. It's um, it's put floors in, it's put walls, it's put um, 
windows, of course. Um, there are, um, it's, it's put roofs on the top here. This roof here on the left has failed somehow. I don't know why. Um, uh, let's use the, um, Um, so it's had a, a section cut here. Um, so let's look at the, the floor plans. So as you can see, the rooms have got, um, got internal doors, they've got windows. Um, the internal walls are thinner than the external walls. Um, the, the walls line up. Um, so let's have a look. There's the first floor. There's the second floor. Um, and there's the third floor. Um, let's, um, let's rotate this section line so you can see the uh, section through the building. Uh, so there you go. That's that's it. Uh, I won't bother editing the model, but you obviously you can go back to the. Um, we haven't lost the, um, the the actual the geometry here in the first place. So um, so if we edit that and we re-export it and then re-import the IFC file, um, then then we can we can play with the design of the building, go back and forth, backwards and forwards. That's it. Um, see you next time.